Just imagine, Microsoft makes Windows open source. That will probably break the internet and that might also help make Windows better and more consistent. But we all know that's not going to happen. But when I saw this post or discussion post on GitHub about the Win UI, I was like, wow, some part of the Windows is actually becoming open source. So this is a discussion post from the Win UI team, specifically Beth Pan a software engineer. This is a roadmap to make WinUI open source. It's not happening immediately. There are a couple of steps. We don't need to know that. Uh, this is more for developers. Maybe they'll understand this thing better. I'm just a normal guy who tries to make good tutorial videos. That's it. But when I saw this, I was like, WinUI basically means Windows UI and it's becoming open source. I was like, wow, maybe. Now, Windows can be more consistent because Windows UI is becoming open source. Maybe someone will make some pretty cool theming system and we can theme the operating system however we want. But uh, maybe I'm wrong or maybe I'm right. Who knows? Let's just talk about this. Okay. <laughs> so WinUI is basically a user experience framework for both Windows desktop. That is important and UWP applications, the modern Windows applications. Windows desktop basically means the desktop elements, maybe right click menu. This is not WinUI, I don't know if it is. This is actually a classic right click menu, but you know, there is a modern Windows 11 right click menu, or we can take a look at the Windows 11 start menu. So this is the WinUI, okay? The settings. This is the WinUI. WinUI is basically a Windows design language for Windows desktops and the apps. Even if the operating system isn't becoming open source, I mean, that's probably never gonna happen. At least the UI, the user interface thingy is becoming open source. Don't know much about these things. Yeah, someone will probably use this and make Windows at least look better. I think I'm just completely wrong here, but here is another interesting thing. WinUI 3, the version 3, that is version 2, okay, the latest one, can be used to build desktop plus the Win32 Windows apps. But I think even if Microsoft makes WinUI open source, it's not gonna open source everything that is connected to the WinUI, like the Windows app SDK, maybe only the user interface controls and layout components will be open source. To make themes for Windows and change the look of Windows completely, we need access to Windows shell. Things like start menu, taskbar, and file explorer. These are the main things that handles the entire operating system's UI. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Maybe WinUI becoming open source again isn't a as big of a deal as I thought it is. So it's probably not gonna affect the Windows operating system that much. So let's say for example this calculator application is built using WinUI. But if Windows UI becomes open source, someone can modify the WinUI design language and make it look like maybe macOS style. Okay, so yeah, that's probably what's going to happen if WinUI becomes open source. The apps can look different even if it's built using the WinUI. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. And that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or you just want to talk about the WinUI, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye.